I-16, Property Plant and Equipment, Self-Constructed Asset. This is a summary of the total content of I-16. Accounting treatment comprises recognition, measurement and disclosure. This presentation focuses on measurement and specifically initial measurement of a self-constructed asset. I-16 paragraph 22. The cost of a self-constructed asset is determined using the same principles as for an acquired asset. If an entity makes similar assets for sale in the normal course of business, the cost of the asset is usually the same as the cost of constructing an asset for sale. This refers to IS2. If you are constructing a PPE item for use as PPE, the principles that you would apply in calculating the cost price of that PPE item would be similar to that you would find in IS2 on inventories. For example, any internal profits are eliminated in arriving at such cost. Similarly, the cost of abnormal amounts of wasted material, labor, or other resources incurred in self-constructing an asset is not included in the cost of that asset. So you'll follow similar principles as you would do when you are self-constructing inventories for the purposes of sale. The only difference is you are now self-constructing a PPE item for use in the business. Let's look at an example. You have existing equipment A has a cost of 600,000 Rand, accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year of 200,000 Rand, and depreciation for the current year is 120,000 Rand. Existing equipment A was used to construct another piece of equipment B, a PPE item, for two months during the current year. Construction cost for the new equipment B amounted to 50,000 Rand in respect of labor and materials. Let's calculate the cost of this new equipment B. First of all, you will include the 50,000 Rand for labor and materials. What is this 120,000 Rand? times 2 over 12. Existing equipment A was used for two months to construct equipment B. So the depreciation expense on equipment A needs to form part of the cost of equipment B for the two months that it was used to construct equipment B. This is the same principle as you would find under IS2 inventories, where the depreciation of your machinery or your plant or your equipment that is used to manufacture the inventories forms part of the overheads included in the cost price of the inventories. So the 120,000 was given, multiplied by 2 over 12, gives you the 20,000 rand that's added to the 50,000, to get the cost price of the new equipment B to 70,000 Rand. This new asset B is depreciated over 10 years and has, when it was ready for use as intended by management, for the past nine months of the present financial period. What would now be the depreciation that you recognized in profit or loss on equipment for the present year? Depreciation on asset A was 120,000 Rand. But of that 120,000 Rand, 20,000 was recognized to the asset B's cost price. Therefore, it's no longer sitting in profit or loss. Depreciation on the new asset B is calculated as the 70,000 Rand cost that we've just looked at over 10 years for nine months ready for use during the current period giving you total depreciation in profit or loss of 105 to 150. What's important to note is the following. The adjustment to the depreciation, the profit or loss expense on asset A, has no effect 
on the accumulated depreciation of asset A. This asset has still been used. You still have to reduce your carrying amount with the full year's depreciation. It actually only has an influence on the depreciation expense in the current year. Let's look at the journal entries. You would debit depreciation profit or loss on, on equipment A of 100,000. That is the 120,000 for the whole year, less two months worth 20,000 that was capitalized to the cost of equipment B. That's your second journal. Debit cost B in your statement of financial position, 20,000. And then you had a credit against accumulated depreciation on equipment A for the full 120,000. So there you can see that does not change. And your second journal is your depreciation on equipment B for the 5,250. So after this journal, we still have 100,000 and 5,250. That gives me the total depreciation in profit or loss on equipment for the current year.